Hi, what up guys? This is your boy, the HVACR underscore 4L, and I'm back with another video for y'all today. I said I'm back with another video today, and today guys, got something to talk about, okay? If you're new to the channel, on this channel we talk about everything HVACR related, anything technical, any advice, anything like that, man. So if you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, come join the community, and rock with us, all right? So for today's video, what I got in store for y'all is another DIY video. At the crib today, we gotta go check out my air conditioner because I feel like it's not getting cold as it should be getting cold. I think that last video might have jinxed me. Anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go check out the, uh, the refrigerant outside. We're gonna check our pressures and temperatures and make sure that everything's adding up, all right? So I'll let you guys know some things that I already know. I already know that from, um, I already know that we have a piston on the inside, okay? So we need to check it by superheat. Um, let's see. Also, I think I'm looking for around like a 20 degree superheat. See, the coil in here, it doesn't have any specs on it. Let me show it to you. There's no specs on the coil whatsoever. I'm just going by like a, I guess you can call it a rule of thumb if you want, okay? So, come rock with me. All right. So, check it out. You see, we got a pistol right here. Can you see that? Make sure you can see that. Right, so you can see, like I said, we have a piston device in here. So we know we got a baby guy. Super. All right. And like I was saying, guys, like there's no specs anywhere or anything like that. Like we literally don't know what is going on with this system. There's nothing on there at all. All right, so guys, you wanna follow me back outside? Let's go ahead and get it started. All right, so my equipment's been running now for about 20 or 30 minutes, all right? So, let me show y'all some things. Now. All right, so it was too loud right here, so I'm just going to voice this over for y'all. You see right here on the crib side, blue side, I'm rubbing my fingers around so gently and stuff, all weird-like. That's called suction line, vapor line, low side, low pressure, whatever it may have you. Right next to it, on the right side, the red color, blood, whatever you want to call it, they call that high pressure, discharge, liquid line, um, whatever it may have you. All right, we're going to be taking our reading on the blue side, though, today, all right? All right, now... All right, so, check out, I got my measure. We're gonna measure the outdoor temperature. Right now, it says we are about 82 degrees outside. About 82 degrees. About 82, turn out the sun, it's about 82. So 82 degrees outside, and we wanna take our thermocouple, and we wanna strap it to the suction side. Let's get that temperature measured. All right, so like I said, this equipment's been running for a minute, so we're looking at about 52 degrees on our suction side, okay? It's 70 degrees in the house right now. But like I said, it's 82 degrees outside. So what we want to do is we want to take our outdoor, we want to take our suction line temperature. We want to come over to the suction side and we want to look at the green line. And that's going to give us our saturated temperature. And our saturated temperature is at about, is at 30. So we want to take that big number from the low number. So 52 minus 30, that leaves us at about 22 degrees superheat, right? Well, I guess it'll... Oh, no. Yes, it will. Oh, no. 
guess it ain't, it ain't too bad. It, it feel like it ain't getting as cold in the house, but I guess it is. All right. Man, let's go back in here and check and see what this thermostat say. I know I set the temperature down to 69, and it's been running for a bit of 15 to 20 minutes. So let's check it out, see what we got going on, man. Mother, it did hit the 69 though, didn't it? I don't know if you can see that or not, but it hit the 69. Wow. Wow. Well, guys, I guess I got April Fool then because it did not feel like it was getting this cold, but I mean, I mean, it is a 69. 69 degrees is what I set it for, and that's what we at. So I can't even be mad at that, all right? It is 80 degrees outside, so I can't even be mad that I got it at 69 in the crib. A really lightweight. That ain't too bad, is it? Mm-hmm. Uh, another thing that I just thought about is, <clears throat> while I'm here, we're gonna go ahead and check a couple other things too, okay? Normally, well, I actually did. I already did check this, but I'm gonna check it just for y'all, okay? Matter of fact, nah, I ain't even gonna check it. Just listen to me. Make sure you check your filter. That's the number one reason why people's air conditioners don't be working right, because they didn't change the filter. Got to drop a gym. No airflow equals our core airflow through over your evaporator coil is going to cause that thing to freeze up on you you hear me and if it frees up on you then it definitely ain't acting right okay all right guys so as you know i'm going to get make it short sweet and simple right to the point you hear me so that's how you check out that um that super heat on on, on the r22 piston system okay so i know all if you got questions about numbers and about terms and about any other thing like that make sure you hit that in the comments and i answer you accordingly you hear me because right now i'm just showing y'all how to take the numbers okay if you don't know what to do with those numbers then you know that's up to you to find out and you can find out by asking me i'll let you know or uh you know or, or, or you can research and google it or look up another youtube channel whatever it may be and then i do that you know what i'm saying i'm like uh, i'm like come at you like yeah. all right guys so i want to thank everybody for the, taking the time out to check out the video um service text i know y'all the ones that's really gonna be looking at this new newbies um uh, you know the ones that's green it's just not hopping in and stuff y'all be the ones looking at this and y'all the ones that i want to uh i want to reach out to so like i said if you guys got any questions for me man let me know i'll answer any questions as fast as y'all know yeah. yeah, as a matter of fact, we're going to check one more thing. Let's go ahead and check his uh, temperature coming out of the register. Burr. All right, guys, I want to thank y'all for checking out the video. I appreciate you guys taking out the time to, you know, watch my video to the very end for the ones that did. Um, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more content. I'm dropping videos every single week. As I've said, go back, check out the other videos. You might find something useful, all right? This video right here might be more geared towards the new guy coming in the service that don't really know how to check superheat or subcool or check the charge on the system or charge the system or whatnot. All those videos is coming up, all right? It's the summer season and we about to start having more and more videos, okay? I'm gonna start making these videos a lot more short, sweet, and simple, the three S's, all right? I'm gonna go in there, get straight to the point on that for you people so y'all ain't gotta wait around. And uh, I appreciate every single one of y'all. Until next time, guys, peace.